Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. We're working on page six of Vagabond in Japan. Okay, so we've got a three and a half by eight inch belly band. So three and a half by eight inches. You're going to score a half inch at um, on one side, rotate 45 degrees and score another half inch. And it's just going to go right here. I've already made my center line here and here. So all we have to do is line it up. Of course, I have to lay down the side that has the mark. <laughs> I'm going to erase that little tick mark so that it won't be showing in my border. Come across, press everything flat, lay that down. Okay, so there's our belly band. Now we have two flaps, a left and a right, and they're both the same size. They are four and a half by seven, four and a half by seven. You're going to score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. These are going to go flush to the left and right of this page six pocket page. Our next step is going to be to place some magnets. Okay. And I did not um, add scallops. Once I get my designer picked paper picked out, I haven't decided if I want to add, I said scallops, but I meant stub. Um, if I want to add stubs or if I just want to keep a straight, clean line. Um, I'll make that decision once I get the get to the designer paper part of this process. Okay, um, the other thing I like to do is put a reference line here so I know how far over, how much reach these flaps have into the belly band, and I'm going to place my magnet in the middle of the edge and the line. And that way I know it's not too close to this edge, and it's also not too close to this edge to be covered. The other reason I like to cover my magnets, I talked about the fact that um, the edges of the magnets are really sharp, but the other reason I like um, to use tape on top of it, double-sided tape on top of it, is um, once in a while it's difficult to get the paper around the magnet with glue without it wanting to open up on you, but if you have double-sided tape on there, it will definitely hold the paper in place as you try to wrap it. So so close to the edge. <clears throat> There's something about the um, glue against that metal that it just really doesn't want to stick. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the left hand side. There's my line. I'm going to go to the middle. There we go. <clears throat> Page six. All right, that's it for now. I'm going to take a break and I'll be back soon. I like to put a marker um, which page I'm working on. I do it because as I'm going through the videos, sometimes I don't do the pages in sequence and I've been known to, to say the wrong thing. I usually try to correct it. Um, somewhere in the video saying, oh, I meant this, I said that, I meant this. Um, but that's why the, the mark was here, but now with, every, with the um, interactive elements closed, I still want to quickly know that this is page six. Okay, and that was page five, and I need to do the same thing on page five. Um, I'm a little leery about using um, the, the um, gel pen if I'm not sure how I'm um, laying in my paper or if I'm planning on doing color blocking because this is hard to cover up even with a Sharpie. It just, it still kind of shows through. So I'll use pencil. It's easy to remove completely and there's really no trace of it. Okay. So page five, six. Now we're on to page seven. 
Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm ready to decorate. So here we are on, let's confirm, page six. And um, page six, and I am, this is going to be the fifth page that I've built. So, okay, I think I've got everything ready. Oh, you know what? I need ink. Okay, this is from the 8x8 collection pack. This is from the A4, and I've just cut her down so that she would fit, and it looks like I've already inked her. <clears throat> These are from the, um, that's inked already, 8x8 collection pack. This is from the uh, patterns pack. 8x8, eight eight, sorry. The pattern pack only comes in 8x8, eight eight, but I didn't mention that. And then this background is also from the 8x8 eight eight collection pack, and, or pattern pack. This is from the pattern pack. And this is really pretty. I think this is one of my favorites. I'm really liking the patterns pack. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how best to incorporate them, but I really like that they're doing that now. Um, and I think I'll just get better at incorporating them, but it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a great idea. <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to doing another Stamperia that has a patterns pack because I think it's neat. And I feel like you get more uh, papers. The patterns pack allows you to do more layering. Um, so that it doesn't get too busy. Um, sometimes uh, it's hard to do a lot of layering if it's very monochromatic because a lot gets lost because it's just co the same color on top of the same color. And I think these patterns pack pattern packs are going um, to go a long way to helping with that. And of course, I can't read Japanese. So I don't know if I'm putting this in right side up or not, <clears throat> but it's so blurry. I don't know if anybody would know the difference anyway. <clears throat> I mean, the, the text is very muddled. Okay. Let's push this in so I can see if I've got my edges good. Yay. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go ahead and slide these in. Okay, we're going to leave our leading edge without adhesive. And again, this is the 8x8 pattern pack. And it looks like um, I'm going to have a nice amount of paper left over so that we can do some really nice inserts in, for both the pockets and the belly bands. So I was, I mean, we're going to have nice big pieces left, so we're not going to have to do too much color blocking. <clears throat> but I don't want to get my hopes up too high because I haven't covered the box yet. <laughs> And boxes always surprise me. It takes a lot more paper to cover a box than, than I think uh, when I look at it. I'm like, oh, it only has four sides. But really, you know, if you're going to open the box and see the inside, you don't want that to be bare. So it actually takes more than you think looking at it. So as soon as I get the book done, I'll go back, work on the box. And then after the box is done, then we'll know really what we have left. Go ahead and do the outside. <clears throat> I don't know where I want her. I'm going to give that a rest. And let's go ahead and do the inside. Now I have this option, which is, I just think this is really pretty, this map. That's one, and that's two. And I, I really like the blue, but um, maybe I, yeah, the, I don't like that. That's just too boring. Um, what I need is something that has a lot of brown in it, and there really isn't a pattern like that. So this is, I think, as close as you get. But I really like the map, so 
I'm going to do it this way. I need to ink it. <clears throat> okay, let's try fit. Looks good. Oh, it got awfully quiet outside. Oh, the other thing that I noticed today, I went outside for a few minutes, and um, we're very close to a, a military base. And um, they have um, an air show, uh, which they didn't last year. But I think they're going to do it again this year. Actually, I'm not positive, but I saw some really cool planes going overhead. Not military planes. They look like, well from years gone by they're not the recent so it wasn't like they were out on a training it looked like they were actually practicing for the air show and that usually happens here in san diego uh in uh, late september or october and so we're right in that time frame so maybe we are going to have an air show this year which would be kind of nice it's pretty cool we're right in their flight pattern <clears throat> they do a big loop and um they fly right over our backyard so it's pretty neat and some of the helicopters, when they come by, they're flying so low, I can actually see the faces of the guys that are um, sitting at the door, you know, the ones that are kind of hanging outside the helicopter. <laughs> it's kind of neat. I wave at them. Sometimes they wave back. <laughs> but I'm sure from up there, they see everybody in my neighborhood running outside every time they hear them to get a, to get a glimpse. I'm sure they get a kick out of that. <clears throat> So that's cool. And of course, the, the blue angels fly over too, but they're much higher. So you can't, I mean, we see them clearly, but they're not their faces, the airplanes. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a nice big spread. And of course, we're going to have something interesting in our belly band. <clears throat> and I will go over all, I think I'm going to do, I don't know, I haven't decided. I'm definitely going to cover what goes in the belly band in the walkthrough, um, but not uh, as part of this page because I want to get the page uploaded uh, sooner rather than later. It's from the 8x8. <clears throat> so I may do a small inserts video that just covers all the inserts, the sizes, and then um, I'll show you the patterns. I'm, I'm not going to film building them, but I will show you the patterns and um, give you kind of they're going to be some of them are going to have color blocking and i'll give you some um some measurements on that <clears throat> i know that's a little bit confusing but when i release the video it'll be clear i think i hope that is my hope i think she's pretty there's one image that um that's in the a i think it's in the a4 no, it's in the 12x12 12 12 and the 8x8 8 8 collection pack um, where it's just her face. Um, and she looks so much different than this. And it almost looks like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with anime, but she looks more like anime. And I didn't like that at all. Um, she This one looks, she looks much more traditional, although she looks Caucasian to me and not <laughs> Japanese. Um, but of course, our vagabond doesn't look uh, Japanese to me either but he looks more like a person she looks more like a person the other one looks more like a cartoon uh, like an anime uh, figure so it's kind of kind of weird can't really get my head wrapped around how to describe that but you guys will know what I mean when you look at the collection so there we are that is <laughs> I forgot what page we're on page six page six build five and um, I'll have that information in the title and if you have any questions about what that really means and you want further clarification, drop me a line in comments, send me an email, or go to our website and send a message. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But I think uh, I'll keep explaining it, and hopefully it'll continue to get clearer and clearer over time. Also, if you have anything, any ideas that I can incorporate to make this easier for you, let me know. Comments, email, website. Okay, that's the end of page six. I'll be back soon and we'll continue working on this album. See you later.